Why, hello friends, we are back and we had a request from Fusion XP for a grip for the flashlights. So this one I cannot put a grip on because that just, oh, maybe he does mean this one. I don't, I'm not sure which one you mean, so I guess we'll do them both. Let's do them both. So let's first make sure that we're, um, I didn't even think that he could have meant this one, but I did, he definitely could have. So let's put this one right back in the middle just by adjusting to zero, zero, zero. And let's make a handle shape that's similar to that one to make a grip out of. So that's about the right thickness, oddly enough. So let's just move it up and try to center it a little bit. And we'll shrink it a little bit, but not much, for you can see a little bit of lip on each, each side there. And then, actually, let's shrink it down like this more for we shrink it even there. And you can see we're kind of poking through the one side, so we'll just bring it out a little bit, and like so. And we'll just adjust it up a little bit. All right, something like that. And then we'll stretch it out to the size we want. I'm not sure which one you went, meant, so we'll do them both real quick, bro. Hopefully this helps you out in your project. Um, we can hold on to all the quarters if you want. I went into edit mode with tab. I'm going to hit control B, and you can see the whole thing is highlighted right now. And I can just roll my edges to give it a more even look to it, like so. See, it's not quite exactly centered, so we'll just switch out edit mode with tab again, just drag it up just a hair. Something like that is what I would do for a grip on this. If you want to get more detail for it, you can go back in edit mode and we can hit control R and we can roll that. We can drag that out from side to side and we can dip in and out a little bit. But the type of handle this would be, I honestly don't think you really need it. And you, as you can see, we could shrink in a little bit, and it's just going to give us a little bit more shape to it, like so. Actually, it does look a bit better. I'm going to keep it like that, actually. So I'm going to take the flashlight. We're going to duplicate it with Shift-D. All right. And then we are going to uh, click this shape after with uh, Shift and then left click. So we've got the extra flashlight, and we've clicked the extra handle. We're going to go to Object, Bool, Difference. Okay, and we're going to pull this piece out just to look at it. As you can see, it now has a perfect hole in it. So it's just going to give us a better edge on it. So if we go zero here, oops, it'll just put it back for us perfectly because we put the other one perfectly in the middle. If you want to make it a hair bigger, you can. So there's a little bit of an edge on the inside. But um, afterwards, when you're ready, you just want to grab the other item with shift left click and control J. And I'll leave it up to you how you want to do that shape, but we're going to do a few more steps. Click off everything, L over top of it, and we're going to add an extra color to it because I'm sure you're going to want to add an extra color to your handle. And we're just going to make it, um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter again. Uh, let's make it that color. It looks like wood, it doesn't matter. You're just assigning a slot to it so you can put an extra color into it in your game. So there you go, there's that one with a handle, and it's attached, so we can just drag that out of the way. And we'll put a handle on the other one real quick. I'm trying to, i got to be quick today, i got a lot of stuff i got to do, but I really do appreciate you guys subscribing to me, and watching my videos, and making requests. I've been asking people to give me some requests for a long time, so hopefully this is exactly what you were asking for, and you're very happy with it. Tell some friends, and very good luck on your game, too. If you're making a game project, I wish you the most luck in the world because it is so hard to do these things and uh, all that stuff. But just take it one step at a time, and you just remember, you're going to get there. You're going to get to your goals. Don't give up, and don't let anybody tell you you're not going to make it, whatever happens. So, sorry for the pep talk. Let's go. Control-A. We're going to select a new um, piece. It's going to be this, and we're going to roll it sideways. So we're going to hit 90 here. All right, that looks good. We're going to hit S, and we're going to let it shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink until it's just about the exact same size as the other one, just a little bit bigger. You're going to decide your thickness whenever you're happy with it. So, and then we are going to stretch it out like so, and then we're going to bump it back because it's in the way of our switch. So something like that, maybe you want to go all the way over the back. It's completely up to you how exactly you want to do this. So... If you wanted to just do that, it'd be easy enough. We can make a, um, let's make an extra one of these first, Shift D. And then we'll make an extra one of the, these and go Shift D. 
And we'll grab that and grab that and we'll bump it back like so. And we'll make two handles for this for here. I don't know exactly what you're looking for. So we'll try to cover some the most ground we can as fast as we can. So what I'm gonna do is make sure we're on faces up here and I'm just gonna click off this face here. Oops. So just undo if you do what I did <laughs> and hit shift on or shift left click and it should just un remove that one. And then we're just gonna roll this edge over and we can make it more simple if you want. But just watch the edges don't cross over. There's another way we could do this. We could just grab this back one, control B. It all depends what you're looking for. And you can kind of have a look at the shape after to see if it's what you want. Oh, I did forget something on the other one. Let's go back over here for one second, highlight it, make sure you're at edit mode, right click it and shade smooth it. And it's just gonna give you a better edge and have less issues as you can see, it just looks a little better. And we'll go and we're already at 35. So we shade smooth that, that's good. Sorry, we'll go back to the other one. And so once you're ready, you want to shift D the flashlight, sorry, and grab the second piece after, and we're going to go to Bool Difference. As you can see, it just made us a, a hollow spot, basically. So we're also going to shade smooth that, so you can see it's a little more smooth of a grip now. If you like that, and then you're happy. Perfect. If not, we'll do one more. Um, we're just going to go down here. So you're going to click this one. And then you're going to click over here, change this to 35. You're always going to want to shade smooth between 35 and 70, never above or under because it's going to cause more issues. So again, you can grab this and, oops, I right click to cancel that S to make it a little hair bigger. But I think it actually looks a little bit better if it's just a little bit smaller like that. Oh no, it's kind of poking out. Just make sure none of the edges are poking out of the back. You need to drag it around, stretch it longer, whatever you need to do. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and join those two. So now that I've got that done, I can click off everything. I could hit L over here and we're gonna have obviously, oops, you know what, let's go back. Is it, you know, it's attached. I don't know why it's doing that. So we're going, oh right. We gotta go down to colors. That's why, that's my bad. We'll hit plus, we'll hit new. We're just going to give it a new color because I'm sure you're going to want it to be something different. It doesn't matter what we make it. It's just going to add an extra slot for your grip in your game. Okay. Okay. So maybe you're looking for something a little more complicated. So let's first get a basic shape to this thing. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab back here. This seemed to work the best. And you're going to have to fiddle around and see what you want to do. Something like that I'm going to go with. I like that. So now that we've done that, we're going to hit Control R. And we're just going to do two like that. And we're going to right click to let it auto center. We're going to spread it out. And we're going to stop right here and here. And then we're going to hit control R and we're going to make two again. And we're going to spread it out. When we get to about the same gap as the other one, you're going to have to eyeball this. Unfortunately, we're going to hit S and we're going to shrink it in a little bit. And then we're going to hit control R again. And we're going to make two and we're going to spread them out. And we're trying to get that same gap again as best as you can. And we're gonna hit S and make it bigger, like so. And we're just gonna continue doing this whole way, but giving it a little bit of straightness on the gap. So this one will just be the same. We'll hit Control R, oops, Control R, and we'll roll the mouse again in the middle to get two. And then we'll just spread it out again. When you get that same gap, we're gonna hit S and we're just gonna drag it in just a little bit. Try to match the gaps and the dragons as much as you can. So we're going to hit Control R again. We're going to roll it. Perfect. We're going to spread it out. And this is going to take a little bit of time for you guys to get this perfect. But depending what you want, take the time to make sure it's perfect. If your game matters to you that much, take the time to make sure it's what you want. Right? So if this is more what you want, do it with me. Control R, roll. And we're going to stop there. And we're going to leave this one to give it a flat spot on the top. Control R, roll, spread out, and go in again. All right. And Control R, spread out. And you're going to get it all the way along. And hopefully it looks pretty even. If not, you may have to spread it out a little bit. 
or move your cut-ins a little farther apart, something like that, but you'll get it eventually. Take the time you need to make it look perfect. This is your game. If it's an art project or something, I probably wouldn't waste as... Oops, let's undo that last one. I probably wouldn't waste as much time on it, but if it's your game, you want people to see your skills, so you're going to want to take the time for this stuff. Roll. And we'll go out. Almost done. It might not work out evenly. We're going to have to see and hope. And if not, you could probably just make it look good enough. Roll. You know what? And I think it is going to work out just about even. Like that. So now you've got a perfectly edged piece. Looking pretty good. Let's, um, actually, let's not do that yet. Let's repeat the, the flashlight. So we'll highlight the flashlight. We'll hit Shift D. And we're going to click the other shape after. And we're going to object, bool, and difference. And the reason our flashlight didn't disappear is because we had a copy. So now we're going to take this piece, we're going to shade smooth it, make sure that it goes down to 30, oops, 35, and there we go. So let's take this piece, and now it's shade smooth, attach it to the other place, piece, control J, make sure the thing, whole thing's shade smooth, which it is, but just make sure. Go back in here, we'll push tab to go back in here, click off everything, hit L over top, Go down to coloring and make this the color you want and it should be good. Hopefully this is what you wanted and hopefully this is what you af we were after. And if it was and you thought it helped a lot, make sure you send this video to other people you share. It doesn't matter what color you give this in game because you're going to change it in your, your game anyways. You're just assigning it a color. So now we have a grip on the flashlight. If I did this wrong for you, let me know. Maybe I'll set up another one, but I think this should be right. Um, I wasn't sure which flashlight it went, so now we have a grip on all of them. If you have any more questions or any more requests, feel free to let me know in the comments. And we will see you guys next time we do another snazzy freaking blender video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.